LM Studio is a powerful desktop application that lets you run large language models locally on your computer. In other words, is your personal, private, and completely free ChatGPT. No token limits, no monthly fees, and no one watching over your data. Everything runs on your computer and is available anytime, even without an internet connection. Hi, I'm Nick, and I've been developing software for over 20 years. On this channel, I share my experience, insights, and thoughts about IT. Okay, so LM Studio. The app itself is free, and so are the AI models you can run with it. Sounds like a perfect solution, right? Well, yes and no. It's truly private and free. You don't have to pay anything, and all your requests, responses, and data stay on your computer. But there's another kind of cost, your computer's performance. The larger, and therefore more powerful and capable, the model you want to run. The higher the hardware requirements. But don't worry, there are plenty of great smaller models that can run perfectly well on a regular laptop or desktop. Okay, let's start by installing it. First, go to their website, lmstudio.ai. The app is available for Windows, macOS, and Linux. Download the version you need and install it, just like any other application. So, after launching LM Studio, you are greeted with an empty chat window and a prompt to create a new chat. But before we do that, let's take a quick look around. First, notice the switch at the bottom. Depending on which mode you select, the interface and the number of available settings will change from the simplest user mode to dozens of advanced options in developer mode. Let's start with the simplest one, user. Click create a new chat, type your prompt, and notice that the send button is inactive. That's because we haven't installed or selected any language model yet. But no problem. Let's go to the top of the screen and open the model selector. In user mode, LM Studio analyzes your computer specs and recommends the model that's most optimal for your system. I recommend starting with that one. Download the suggested model. If it's a large one, you might need to wait a bit. Once it's downloaded, select it. It may take a few more seconds for the model to load into your GPU memory, and then everything's ready. Let's finally send our first message. Okay, great. Our local chat GPT is now running on the laptop. No token limits, no request limits. You can chat for hours completely free. And most importantly, it's fully private. Everything stays right on your computer. All right, that's the basic level of using LM Studio. For users who just want to get an AI running on their computer in a few clicks, that's usually more than enough. But let's go a bit further and switch to power user mode. Here we get a new sidebar with four tabs, chat, developer, my models, and discover. We don't need the developer tab just yet. Let's open the my models tab. This shows all the LLM models currently downloaded to your computer. As you can see, I have only one model so far, the one we downloaded earlier. The next tab, Discover, is more interesting. When you click it, you enter the model search section. These are all the AI models available for LM Studio. You can look up a model by typing in the search bar, and once you find one, you can download it directly from here. The key thing to pay attention to is the number of parameters, and more importantly, the model size. Ideally, the model should fit entirely into your GPU's video memory. LM Studio conveniently highlights whether the model can be fully loaded into video memory. For example, this model fits fine, it can be fully loaded. But if I search for a larger one, say this one, it takes up much more space and can only be partially loaded into my laptop's video memory. As you can see, LM Studio warns about this. It tells you the model may run very slowly. That's something to keep in mind. To repeat, it's best to use models that can fully fit into your video memory. Okay, let's continue. Let's search for a model. For example, one of the well-known Llama models. As you can see, there are many options. Pick the one that fits your needs in terms of quality and size. For example, this one, 7 GB, fits in my video memory, so it's safe to install and use. However, I'm interested in another model, Granite. It's relatively small, but quite powerful. Let's download it as well, right here directly from the search results. Okay, while that model is downloading, let's look at the other tabs available here. Runtime, this shows information about LM Studio itself, which packages are installed, which libraries and frameworks are used. Hardware, this shows system-specific information. As you can see, I have 16 gigabytes of video memory. 
You can also see your CPU details, memory, and a live resource monitor showing current usage. Okay, great. The model has finished downloading. We'll get back to it in a moment. Settings. There's nothing particularly interesting here. If you'd like to tweak chat behavior or a few interface details, you can do that here. LM Studio Hub. Here you can create an account and publish your own custom models, but we don't need that right now. Okay, let's see what else the power user mode gives us. Besides the sidebar, there's now a new button for additional settings. I'd call these AI settings since they affect how the model responds. Here you can create presets, adjust context and model parameters, and even configure plugins or MCP integrations, though we don't need those yet. I recommend starting with the model settings first. For example, try adjusting the temperature parameter, which controls how creative or deterministic the model's responses are. Once you're comfortable with that, you can explore the other settings. All right, let's close this panel. One more important thing. After switching to power user mode, each response now comes with additional statistics. Right here, below each reply, mm -hmm. you can see how fast the model generated it. This is a great way to gauge how well your model performs on your hardware. Okay, now let's switch to the model I just downloaded, Granite. You can do that using the selector at the top. LM Studio will then ask whether you want to continue the current chat with the new model or switch back to the old one. Let's switch to the new model and ask it something. For example, a question about Python. All right, perfect, everything works. Now you know the basics of how to use LM Studio, how to load large language models, switch between them and adjust basic settings. But let's go a bit further and see what else it can do. First, you can customize the appearance of the app, change the theme, font size, and so on. Second, you can tweak parameters that affect how LM Studio interacts with models overall. One of the most useful here is context length. Increase it if you're working with large chats or want to send more information to the model at once. There's also support for installing additional plugins and MCP servers. And finally, a very useful feature, especially for developers, is the ability to run and configure a local server to access your models via API. This is incredibly convenient. It allows you to use your local AI in your own scripts and programs, as well as in code editors for writing and code analysis. It's also worth mentioning that the LM Studio website, lmstudio.ai, has a documentation section. Before installing LM Studio, make sure to visit the System Requirements page to check whether your laptop or desktop is powerful enough to run local AI models. The requirements are actually quite modest, so I don't think you'll have any problems. The documentation itself is divided into several sections. The first one covers the main application, the second provides more detailed information for developers, and there are also separate sections dedicated to the JavaScript and Python libraries. Alright, let's wrap it up here. Today I showed you where to start if you want to use local AI models on your computer. As you've seen, it's really not that difficult. But this is just the starting point for exploring large language models. There are still plenty of advanced features and nuances to discover. I'm sure you'll figure them out over time. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Take care.